Well, hello, Mayfair Bible Church. Pastor Michael here. The doors behind me are not just merely doors to enter a building, but an entry to gather together for worship. And for now, eight weeks in a row, we have not gathered together in person to sing together, to pray together, celebrate communion together, to witness baptisms together, to hear the live preaching of God's word together. We're thankful for the gift of technology that we've been able to, over Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and over our website, have a means of communication and worship together even while we are at home. And eight weeks ago, we rapidly closed down our in-person gatherings. We sought to keep the safety and the well-being of our church flock and our community in view, and also to obey scripture, to honor our governmental leaders that God has placed in authority over us, and to pray for them, to have wisdom from him. And so we have sought to keep that testimony alive and strong here at Mayfair Bible Church. And now we are looking towards a regathering in phases, in three phases. And so I wanna to present to you today on this Good Friday, as we get ready for our Friday Food Hub giveaway again, in just an hour, what those three phases are gonna look like. And I'm not gonna go into all the details in this short video because you'll see a document and a piece on our website that will explain the safety measures and so forth. But I have some good news that not this Sunday, but May 24th, we will enter our first phase of regathering. We're calling this our tiptoe phase. We will not have live in-person worship at the building on May the 24th. That's Memorial Day Sunday. It will be online over Facebook, YouTube, and on our website as we've been doing for the past eight weeks. So please enthusiastically engage in that worship over our live stream venues and so forth on May the 24th. But at 12.30 that afternoon, after we're done worshiping in our homes, we're gonna have a pavilion picnic, a family picnic. You bring your own lunch together with your family. You bring a chair. We'll have picnic tables out under our pavilion that God's given us too, and we'll make sure those are clean. And we'll have lunch together, practicing physical distancing, but we will sing together and we will have a testimony time, an open mic time where you can share how you have seen God's grace at work through this safer at home, shelter in place season in our lives. And so I want you to mark your calendar. If you are able to come, that would be wonderful. I know it will encourage brothers and sisters, but if you are elderly, immunocompromised, or in at a high risk category, or you just don't feel safe right now going out, then we encourage you to continue worshiping at home and you don't feel any pressure, don't feel any pressure about coming to the family picnic. But for those who are able and desire to do so, I'm looking forward to having that family picnic at our pavilion outdoors on May the 24th, Sunday at 12.30. Then May the 31st, we are planning on Pentecost Sunday, as it falls in the church calendar, to walk through those doors again the only doors that will be open that day are main entrance only. And on May the 31st Sunday, we will regather for worship. Now there's a, a long list of protocols, safety measures that we ask you to participate in and safety measures that we're taking here as staff, as leadership, our elders and our deacons have all discussed this. We've been in collaboration with medical professionals, community leaders about this. May the 31st, Lord willing, we will be able to regather we gather to sing together, to worship God together, to gather around his word together. There won't be Thrive Kids that Sunday, but we look forward to the next phase. So the 24th, the 31st, the 7th, and the 14th of June, that will be first phase, tiptoe phase. And then our plan is that on June the 21st, that's Father's Day, we will enter phase two, our steady walk phase. So you'll see all the details of those three phases coming to you by snail mail, as well as on our website and on my blog, and also in other means via email. Be prepared in prayer for the regathering of God's people. I know of many other churches across our county that are planning to regather either indoors or outdoors this Sunday or the 24th or the 31st. Continue to pray for our gospel witness, for our community, for the revitalization of our economy, 
for wisdom for our governmental leaders as we process all this. In Psalm 34, verse 1, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And on May the 24th, we'll have an opportunity to do that as we have our family picnic outdoor at the pavilion. We can share about how we've seen God's grace at work. We can boast in him, as it continues to say in Psalm 34. Make our boast in the Lord, not in ourselves, not in our own wisdom or intellect or accomplishments, but in the great work of grace and power that our God has done in and through us and for us. So we will praise him. Thank you, Mayfair Bible Church, for how you have been so faithfully loving and serving and caring for one another and for our community. To, to see the responses through Facebook Live and and our website and so forth as we have worshiped, as I have delivered God's word to you has been a deep encouragement to my heart. And I just wanna tell you that I love you and I am looking forward to worshiping our savior Jesus Christ with you in person very soon. In all of this, let's continue to pray for the church flock, for our community, for our governmental leaders, for all those who God has placed in authority over us, that we will live peaceful lives godly lives, lives of humility and joy and love and mercy and hard work in our community. There will be a lot of work to revitalize our economy. We want to pray for God's guidance and blessing in that as we, as a beacon of light in our community, as Mayfair Bible Church, will be active on the front lines and serving and loving this community, this mission field in which God has placed us. I also want to point out to you that there's this opportunity to pray through every neighborhood in our community with the Bless Every Home effort. And so I wanna encourage you to go to the link that you'll see provided below and click on that link and sign up to pray for a couple dozen people in your neighborhood. This is an incredible opportunity to pray for your neighbors by name, that they will experience the peace of Christ, come to know the love and the life and forgiveness that's available in Christ, and to be in the process of even Lord willing down the, down the road, discipling them. I love you. My family and I send our greetings to you, and we look forward to worshiping our Savior with you this Sunday, virtually online, and the same on May the 24th, but then at the pavilion as well on the 24th to sing and to share some testimonies of the greatness of our God. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon.